I had the opportunity to join uh, one of the meetings in Sevilla, the, the previous meetings. Um, so I have been more or less familiarized with, uh, with the process and I'm now joining um, this uh, online um, encounter that we are going to have. Uh, and I, am, um, I have been working with uh, Meno, Maria, Felipe, and the rest of the team in how we can, we can uh, build um, a, um, a digital space, a, a, new, a new venue that is not going to be uh, Rijeka, sadly, but that uh, is going to be online. So given the circumstances, uh, this uh, venue is now a digital space that should become um, a digital sphere or public sphere in which we're going to have the opportunity to work together. Uh, so let's take advantage of, um, of it and let's build this ideal uh, venue together. And we have come up with the idea of um, a digital city that is called CLE. This is the way I like to pronounce it. It's obviously the acronym of Culture Lab Europe. So welcome to this city, to CLE, yeah, digital city. Um, we have been inspired by uh, Invisible Cities, by Italo Calvino, that uh, probably uh, all of you know. Um, this is a compilation of uh, fictional cities, fictional, well, descriptions of these uh, imaginative uh, cities that uh, do not exist, but may exist. Um, uh, in, and it's also a conversation, uh, a fictional uh, uh, travel or trip uh, in between these cities. And one of these cities is called, is called Armilla, uh, but now um, I have uh, decided that it's going to be the first description of uh, Cle, that is like this because it is unfinished uh, or because it has been demolished, uh, whether it causes some enchantment or only a win, I don't know. The fact remains that it has no walls, no ceilings, no floors. It has nothing that makes it seem a city except the... And it's time for us to complete this uh, fictional uh, city. And the um, question or the main question, the starting point for building this together is uh, to imagine clay. Yeah, we have to imagine this together. What type of neighborhoods uh, or neighborhood would you like to choose uh, to live together in this um, a fictional city that we are building together? That's a main uh, question, a starting point. And um, what I would like to uh, summarize in this uh, hopefully very brief presentation is what are the next uh, steps? What's next? Um, first of all, um, we have added some dates that I would like you guys to be familiar with from now on because they are slightly different or not different, but uh, some of them are new um, uh, to the ones that were programmed already on the website. The first uh, deadline is the 8th of June and uh, this is an, a deadline to submit a survey, a monkey survey uh, that you will um, uh, get uh, today. So in order to form the working groups that are going to be the neighborhoods of CLE, we need your help because we want to, um, um, to know uh, as much information as possible to make the groups uh, um, um, uh, more fitable, let's say. So you have to fill out this survey before uh, 5 p.m. on Monday, the 8th of uh, June. And uh, the following day, on the 9th of uh, June, we will announce these uh, working groups. Uh, and also, we will announce a more specific methodology uh, using uh, Miro. Um, Miro is going to be the, let's say, the non-physical but physical space of clay. Yeah? All the groups, we are going, going to be working in clay that is called the or aka Miro whiteboard. Uh, this is the space of Miro in which we're going to construct our city. But we're each group is going to work in separate neighborhoods. Yeah, these uh, separate neighborhoods in uh, the terminology that uh, Miro uh, uses are called frames. All frames are going to be visible for the rest. And let me show you how Miro works. 
this is an example of a city or a collective um, process using this uh, software. It's a, it's a website. You don't really need to install anything on your desktop. You can use it using your browser. And it's quite simple, but obviously we ask you to sign up over the weekend or on Monday before you fill out the survey to play with it a little bit. Um, and I will try to um, explain also a couple of uh, important things that we're going to use while using Miro uh, in the next uh, minute. So um, this example, um, I guess Felipe has shared a link with you that you can click on and uh, check. Yeah, you see that there are some guests here. I hope you are those guests. So you can navigate this obviously very, very complex space. I was saying to Meno that given that there is no centralized uh, administration of such public space, it's definitely a little bit chaotic, but also take into account that what you are seeing now in my computer on also in your computer is the, um, the final uh, result of a, uh, an ongoing process. So um, we see all the accumulation of different items there, uh, links, comments, uh, um, elements that the users of this uh, city uh, have been using. What you're going to get on Tuesday is not a completely blank space because we are going to give you some uh, pre-designed infrastructure of CLE. Hopefully not uh, um, <coughs> and um, not uh, addressing uh, or conducting too much what you are expected to do. But if you see here, this is a Spanish project. Uh, so La Plaza is the square. This is like a, a frame, like I was saying before, like a neighborhood to, in our terms. So if you click here on frames, you can see that uh, there are different, and let me use the correct uh, terminology here, different frames that in our metaphor, in the metaphor we are using, those are basically neighborhoods, okay? Neighborhoods are basically the working groups. So you have here the bar, the cemetery, the library, the park, the main market, uh, different roads, uh, etc. Even a disco club, the temple, the gallery of fillings, etc. You will be free to build anything you want, but you are expected to focus your working, uh, your group, uh, your working group. Uh, energies within your own frame, yeah? But you will be able to edit and see everything you want on this whiteboard, AKA the city of Claire. Going back to the, to the presentation. Let's take a look at one minute long video, uh, official video by Miro uh, that has nothing to do with the city of Clare or this uh, metaphor that uh, uh, we were taking a look at, but maybe makes things clearer uh, in terms of what type of software this is. I don't hear. We're going to switch to computer audio. I thought it was like that, but uh, I will check it out again. 
now. Sorry. I think it should work now. Meet Kevin. He's used to running a bunch of meetings and workshops with his team around. Does it work? Yes. Okay. Around a whiteboard. But suddenly, everyone's remote. What happens now? Easy. Let's move everything online. Go to Miro.com, sign up, and jump right in. Add an agenda with goals for the session. Get started fast with the right templates. Create a structure, add frames, and lock any content you don't want people to mess with. Now, send out the invites. Finally, it's the moment of truth. Set the right vibe, align everyone around goals, go over the basic tools. Start with an icebreaker to warm everyone up. Keep the group focused, engaged, and productive. Summarize what's been done and discuss the next steps. Transform the results into a presentation on the spot or wait until later. Run a quick retrospective. Give everyone a high five. The team did great. Your team can accomplish great things in Miro too. Try it for yourself. So um, take your time to sign up and, and play with the tool. Um, um, but um, we will facilitate the use of it uh, by multiple ways. Um, including the fact that we're going to ask you uh, about your um, experience or knowledge with this type of tools in the survey that you have to fill out by Monday, okay? So if you feel a little bit scared about using a tool like this, please let us know. And also if you feel very comfortable with using this type of tools, please also let us know, yeah? So we will take into account um, how to organize the different groups considering also this factor among many others. And um, even if the digital venue, AKA CLE, the digital city, is going to become our public sphere, uh, our public sp uh, space, and um, the blog is not disappearing, yeah? The blog is still um, a public square that we will embed uh, within the whiteboard of Miro so that it's visible for everyone. And we encourage you to carry on uh, posting um, um, as well as you have been doing so far. I think, I think we got like 25 posts so far. They are um, very, very good. I just uh, took some uh, quotes uh, from um, different uh, uh, posts that uh, I thought uh, were um, interesting. Uh, you can read them. Um, this uh, PowerPoint uh, will be shared by, I think, by Benno uh, this afternoon. So you can take a look at them. But mostly, please uh, go to the to the blog page and take some time to read uh, the inputs by the participants that are really, really good. Um, after uh, we inform you about this, uh, let's say, um, first uh, draft of working groups, uh, that will happen on the 9th of June by the end of the day. Um, in between the 9th of June and the 18th of June, there is a process uh, of self-arranged uh, online meetings to work with this group using Miro. This means that you will be working uh, with the main whiteboard and also within your own frame with your uh, teammates. Uh, with this pre-designed template uh, methodology that will be facilitated by, by us. Um, the facilitators, uh, me and also Meno, uh, Maria, Felipe, etc., cetera, um, one or at least one of us will always be available online at Miro in front of the computer from Monday to Friday from 11 a.m. to uh, 12, okay? So everyone, uh, should know that we will be there to help you with any maybe technical issue that may happen or obviously content-wise uh, issues. This uh, is a long process that you have to self-manage uh, with uh, the other people that are in your group, okay? Because the objective of this process is to be more or less ready for the 19th of June when, according to the program, there is a two hour long uh, session 
this session will be facilitated. Uh, so uh, different groups will be working in, in these breakout groups on Zoom that we also used uh, today. And also in the main, uh, in the main room, uh, you will be public, publicly developing and sharing the ideas that you have been discussing in Miro. Um, this is not going to be a pitching session, so you are not expected to have a final idea or you don't have uh, to have like a, a full uh, functioning development of, your, of what you are going to do um, uh, during the event from the 22nd to the 26th, yeah? But uh, you have to discuss what you have been discussing. That's the main idea, to be transparent in with uh, the process and to share it with uh, the rest of the groups. It is true that some funders will be invited to join the, the conversation, but please, please do not take it as a pitching session because that's not the idea and we will have uh, time to do so uh, in between the 22nd and, and the 26th. After this session, that should be like the uh, main uh, uh, meeting with your working group, you should be ready to join this intensive uh, week of, of Cultural Lab Week and uh, uh, sorry, Europe from the 22nd and the, and the 26th of June. So please, once you get this PowerPoint, check out this information. It's quite similar to the, to the one that you can get in the website. Uh, so you have more or less the program of what is going to happen on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday and Friday. And then uh, we are adding a new date that maybe Menno can explain because this wasn't in the program. And that's it uh, on my side. I will be very quick because we are way over time and also uh, some people are leaving already. But thank you very much, uh, Ruben. This is just uh, something that's not yet on the website, but we have approached about 10 foundations to uh, join some of the Culture Lab Europe. They are welcome to join various sessions uh, just to see the process, but then we also create a moment, apart from the presentations you will give at the end of the week, create a moment to engage with a funder that's specifically interested in the idea your group has developed, and we give some time for that on the 3rd of July. So I just want to say thank you, everybody. Thank you, Ruben, for participating, being a part of the, the second meeting. You will get all of this in your email and you will get a survey which we really so the first thing you need to remember 5 p.m well i guess central european time monday we need you to fill out the survey so we can prepare everything for you no stress it's going to be fun you know we're with you throughout all the way so if that's it if no one has anything very important to say uh i want to thank once again everybody and have a great weekend and yeah so 5 p.m. Monday. <laughs>